Kamala Harris has officially accepted the Democratic presidential nomination and now the final chapter in the race for the White House is officially underway. Brian Abel joins us from Washington to help us set up this final run. Brian. Hey, Cynthia, hope you are doing well today. Just 74 days until Election Day to decide who will occupy this house here behind me. And with the polls showing this race within the margins of error, every vote is critical, especially in those battleground states. And one of them starts early voting in just 24 days. We are not going back. An energized Democratic Party capping off one of the most extraordinary months in modern politics. Presidential nominee Kamala Harris, whose campaign began just weeks ago, laying out her priorities for her potential presidency in the final night of the DNC. The freedom to live safe from gun violence in our schools, communities, and places of worship. The freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. The freedom to breathe clean air. Republican nominee, former President Donald Trump, immediately responding to Harris's speech with a series of real-time tweets and a call after to Fox News. It was a lot of complaining. She didn't talk about China. She didn't talk about fracking. She didn't talk about crime. But, you know, look, other than that, it was a nice-looking uh, room. Now, as both campaigns turn the corner, a new development that could alter the race. Independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. ending his campaign today. I'm suspending my campaign activities. And now, to throw my support... President Trump. Trump welcoming the endorsement. Also welcoming the potential votes that could make a difference in November. The voters on the margins matter, especially when this only comes down to a couple states. And the next time that Harris and Trump will have this kind of primetime viewership will be when they share a debate stage together. That will be September 10th in Pennsylvania, just days before that state begins early voting. Cynthia? Well, let's pick up on that, Brian. Pennsylvania isn't the only state where early voting will begin. That's correct. Correct. Uh, Penn is just the first Commonwealth, not state, I guess, to start early voting. That will be September 16th. 15 states in all between that day and October 9th. On October 9th, another critical battleground state will begin voting. That state, Arizona. Brian, thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, that is Brian Abel from the White House.